stories. Ooh, I have crazy stories. I have even danger. It's kind of a crazy, dangerous one. I remember my second area. I couldn't sleep one night. And I guess just um, that night I felt extra gross from <laughs> proselyting. And just side note, Davao Mission, and I guess any area in the Philippines is so humid and hot. So you get really, really sticky during the day. And as missionaries walking, walking in the streets in the hot sun, wearing, you know, Sunday best missionary clothing and because of, you know, mosquito bites and danger of, you know, catching dengue or whatever, they had us wear stockings too. So that made us really hot, even more hot. Um, yeah, and after a long day of work, you just come home all feeling gross and sticky. So one particular night, I remember not being able to sleep because I just felt so gross. And I couldn't sleep, and I just decided to take a shower. You know, you know uh, very a cold, comfortable shower will do me good. So I took a shower, and our apartment was huge. We had two bathrooms, and it was just um, me and my companion. And she had her own bathroom, and I had my own bathroom. And it was, I remember it was in back of the apartment um, where the kitchen was. So I had to walk all the way. Um, I had to walk through the kitchen and the living room to our, back to our bedroom. Um, it was just a normal night, and so I, to, after I took a shower, went back to, you know, went back to bed. And then, like 10, 20 minutes probably, um, I was lying down. I was still trying to, you know, I was still trying to go to sleep. I heard this huge banging sound in the kitchen. And I instantly thought that it was, um, you know, those dis dishwashing, dis sorry, dishwashing soap that we have um, by the sink. And I thought, because there was a hole in the, in the um, there was a hole in the kitchen window and there was, um, we would have like this cat that would always try to get in. Um, and I kind of thought when I heard the sound, I thought it was just the cat knocking down, you know, the, the hand soap and the dishwashing soap, the bottle, um, down the sink. So I didn't think anything of it actually. So hanggang sa nakatulog na lang ako. But I did, I, we do lock our bedroom door every night. And yeah, so that night I, I locked the door and then, yeah, I was trying to get some, trying to sleep. And then I heard that sound, but I, yeah, I fell asleep minutes after that. And then the next morning, um, I was saying a prayer and my companion was already up and she was um, cooking breakfast. She was about to cook breakfast, actually. And I heard her call me kind of, you know, in a, in a panic. Like, Sister, Sister Lugo, Sister Lugo, were you? Um, were you washing dishes last night or were you cleaning last night? Were you cleaning the kitchen sink? And I was like, why would I be cleaning the kitchen sink in the middle of the night? But um, I just said, no, oh, I, I took a shower though, you know, and because um, I couldn't sleep. But, and then she said, did you go outside? And because the, 
door was unlocked, our back, our kitchen door, um, which was, you know, the back door was unlocked. And yeah, it looked like somebody tried to go in. Um, and it, it's a good thing it had like the double locks. Um, and that hole, I guess the, whoever tried to get inside unlocked it, unlocked the doorknob, but they couldn't reach the double locks, um, the top and the bottom or um, lower part of the door. So they ended up not getting in. And so we just, we realized that we were almost broken into and we told our mission president and he had the window fixed and the door fixed and um, he just, we were kind of scared because it happened before we heard a story um, and he, our mission president actually related it to us um, about one of the other um, zones in our mission where the sisters were located and their apartment um, also got broken into and so they had to pull them out of that area and my companion and I were a little hesitant at first because okay if we tell mission president like we don't want him to pull us out but of course you had to tell that stuff to the mission president so we told him and they you know he made all the necessary changes and adjustments um, in our apartment um, to help us be more safe and um, we would have the district leaders check up on us every 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 week um, to see how things are you know things are still good in our apartment and in our area so thankfully we did not get pulled out but that was a crazy dangerous story which I kind of dragged along <laughs> it took me 10 years to say it. Um,